position. Then we practice sticking to the feet, opening the joints, seeing the reaction. And then not sticking to the feet, opening the joints, not, no reaction. So I'm still, still doing the same amount of opening and it's just dissipating by the time it gets to the shoulder. So keep my yi in. And then send your yi down. Don't. And notice the difference. That's all where your mind is to how the effect takes place. So if you get the mind extended, you get the energy goes to where your mind is. And um, change. Just hold the mind in, make an error. Notice that, okay, it's stopping on the shoulder. And most people, when they're issuing, they're, they're thinking about the power inside their body. How can they get it? The energy doesn't go past the shoulder. It just stays in the upper circle. The, the receiver just goes jelly bodies it off. And all that happens. But if your mind is on the root, then it doesn't happen. So this is experiment number one. Experiment number two is when you're on the root and you open, open the joints, have a look. Does the energy go from you to your training partner? Or does it happen inside you and your training partner at the same time? So if your thinking is A to B, then it goes A to B. If your thinking is completely absorbed inside your partner, as soon as you start opening, it happens inside where your mind is. So it's the type of you and the way you connect to them is how the energy influences them. If, and that's why I try not to let people use momentum in issuing the start with. Because if, if my issuing model requires me to do this, then I'm definitely going to end up with a mind that's thinking A to B. But if you stick to the person's root and you open your joints, it's happening inside you and happening inside them at the same time, because you're one, one piece. There is no swing, there is no momentum wave that you're using to generate the force. Once you add the momentum into it, once you can stick and open, then you amplify it but you can't start with any form of momentum, otherwise you do it wrong. It's just the thinking of momentum uh, is a very, very beginner's model for Tai Chi. So start off with, with opening your joints, but not extending the yi, and then extending the yi, and uh, get the difference. And then second, how you extend your yi and how your mind relates to his body as you open. And look at the timing. When you start to open and, and he starts to respond, is it simultaneous or is there a beat in time? If there's a beat in time missing, the problem is in here, in your thinking. Everything, uh, everything we're doing is raising energy from here to here to here, so this does everything, and it's all mine. Uh, this and this is just sort of like an illusion to start with that we're working with. In the end, this is the only part of you that uh, that you take with you when, when this body dies. So that's what you want to be developing. It's just all mind skill.